What is up, YouTube? I'm Lazy Lama here, and we are back with some more Slay the Spire. Uh, today we're going to try out the new character, who's, I mean, now about probably two weeks old. But, um, hey, we're going to give him a go. I have tried him once, um, as you can see, my last run. We did it on stream, actually, over my Twitch. So if you're in any interest to see this on stream, I do play this from time to time. We try to get a run or two in every now and then. I don't generally do full streams dedicated to it, as we don't really have a big enough following on Twitch for it. But, um, this is my, my build for first one. We got the floor 33, which isn't too bad, just under 300 points. Which I'd say was pretty decent. We do have some scores to try to beat if we can. Again, that was my first game with it. I don't have all the cards unlocked. That was the first time ever trying out the defect. Uh, let's give it a go again. It's cool because we do have Ascension Mode already unlocked. But I obviously want to beat it a couple times without Ascension Mode on and unlock all my cards before I even attempt that. Um, so off the bat, I'm feeling... Your starting relic like, is nice. It'd be rather rough starting without it. It's actually 3 damage basically. Having it, let's do him. Let's do it max HP. I feel like I feel like max HP could actually be pretty decent. Um, so I don't want to be forced into an elite necessarily, but I do want to try to get a high score. So we're probably not gonna hit the shop. We'll see how we are up here. If we're doing our health, we'll try to fight these two. Probably go this into this and heal after, and then we can upgrade a card and go fight another one if we're doing well enough. Um, I do want to try to get some more relics and stuff. So let's give it a go. So basically, to kind of explain this. Um, and how he works is we have this lightning and we can get different orbs this lightning does three damage every turn random to, en to a random enemy if we do something that invokes it it'll actually do eight damage um, and this card will actually give me another zap so now I'm gonna do six damage at the end of each of my turn he's doing 11 I really wish I could double defend I could go hit him with 16 damage right here because this will actually invoke the next two ones uh, but that's not what I want to do I think we want to actually block some of this damage as we don't really have a way to heal let both of those hit. That's a ton of damage. They don't count as attacks either. So certain things that, you know, you generally don't want to attack or whatever. Um, they don't actually count as attacks. So it's kind of nice. He's going to shield up for 6, I believe. So that means we've got to do 18 damage, which we definitely can't do. He's hitting us for a lot. Uh, actually, yeah, we can do it. We can do it straight with attacking. What I mean, I can't do. Regen Potion, sweet. Those are great to have. So here's a bunch of new cards. Uh, I have not seen this one yet. At the end of turn, he'll have 7 HP. That's really cool. I haven't seen that yet. We might have to pick that up. It's 10 HP. Jeez. That could be a dirty. Cost 1 energy. It's still 1 energy. Yeah. Um, this is great. It's summons 1 lightning and does 7 damage. Um, and they do 7 damage to a random enemy 2 times. That's cool. I think we're going to go for self-repair. I haven't seen or used that card yet. It may not be better than that other one, but like... Now I know we're low. He's not attacking. We have a turn. We don't need to defend. So right here is perfect. I literally play that. It's guaranteed 7 HP healing at the end of this. If you get multiples of those, this could be dirty. So I'm willing to take a little bit of damage, but I definitely want to get an attack going. Take one again. We're healing 7, so we're healing at the full right now. If we could somehow kill him, that'd be ideal. Although, honestly, we double defend. We attack. We may be waiting this out too long, but we're going to take no damage. We only got to do 15 this turn. Which, honestly, we can do like this. We didn't even need to summon that, but hey. And then we're going to heal that back. That's cool. I like that. Uh, that was just a fire potion. Uh, so here, we got Frost. A way to also draw a card, which is nice. The upgraded version gives us two cards. Pretty sweet. This gains 8 block and conserves energy to next turn. It's pretty awesome. I did use that before. And I deal 3 damage if the enemy is intending to attack. Um, apply one week. It's free, which is really nice. And applying two week when it's upgraded is really good. Uh, I think I'm going to go with this, though. I mean, I really want to get some frost in the deck. And card jaw is actually really good. But I'm going to go with this. Getting the energy conservation is a little more important. Um, nah, I don't really care. We're not going to go hit the shop. I could have went and grabbed it and hit the shop. Actually, that probably would have been the smarter option. Was to grab that, hit the shop, remove it. And then spend any excess money I have. But um, we didn't do it. We're going to get him killed. Go in on this guy. That's going to be forced to him. Again, this does choose random targets. He's not attacking again. Um, we might as well conserve this energy to next turn. So you're going to see this turn, I'm going to actually have four energy. Oh, wait. I thought that's how that was supposed to work. Maybe not. Let's use that, so then we can just... Actually, we're not going to take damage anyway. I don't know what I'm thinking. I was thinking that we could attack and let him hit us, and we'd heal it anyways. But, um, all All right. So add a random power to your hand that costs zero and exhaust. Okay, can make that cost zero if we upgrade it. Streamline, deal 15 damage whenever you play this card. Reduce. Alright, that's not too great. This is just draw three cards. Um, 
let's go with this. I might add more cards than I would like normally, and these might not all make sense or the perfect deck for any of you like people who know really how to play this guy. I'm just kind of learning, so I'm testing some things out. Um, we're coming up to the elite, right? Yeah, next fight's going to be the elite if we choose to do it. So let's play this down. This didn't work. Energy is conserved for next turn. Oh, I get it. You can't actually spend the energy. So I have to have leftover energy. That's unfortunate. All right. Well, let's do this. It doesn't matter if I, which one I actually this one if I play it as more. Of course, I would hit that one and not this one. We should be fine though. We should take no damage. I maybe didn't even need to use that potion. Might as well play this. So what is this gonna do? Every time play power draw one card. We don't I think have any more powers powers, but it was free. So uh, honestly, I'd rather hit you to get your shield going. Of course, just hit the one that's gonna die. Uh, we should be able to kill them both anyways. Yeah, we do that. We strike you. Oh, it only does four. Crap. Um, I should have actually killed him. It was a little dumb. Not the greatest. Although that did kill one of them, so we actually take no damage. And we're healing anyways if we did take damage, so. We heal the 7 attack potion. Add a random attack that costs 0. Pretty nice. Um, what if you play a power? Channel lightning. Oh my god. That could be amazing. We don't have a lot of powers yet, but let's try that. I've Again, another card I haven't seen. Uh, definitely don't want to upgrade. I think we're going to upgrade that. Make that innate. You start with that. That's pretty good. I mean, that'll cost zero. That's really good, too. Although, this just works off of that. Let's do this. The upgrading the, um, I don't know. Let's, I think this is going to be great. This dude's awesome because it gives us time to set up. So, things like this, I can do. This, I can do. Serving the energy doesn't matter because we're going to just waste it anyways. But we don't attack. This won't break a shield, so he shouldn't wake up. And now we have this whole storm thing ready to go. So, any powers we play, and we're ready to, we're ready to go in. I want an additional card at the start of each turn. We could attack here. What are we getting next turn? Really defensive heavy. Oh, we're actually going to break his thing here anyways. We're going to break it and make him attack us. So we might as well do it. I mean, it doesn't make sense not to wake him up. Because those would have woke him up anyways. Might as well play it. Forces another storm in. So it's actually doing 8 damage playing that card with that place. Which is ridiculous. I think we forced two of these down. We try to just do some damage. It actually only is one. We're going to take damage here. Um, we, are, we don't have seven heal coming in. Let's, um... I do want to play that. I don't want to obviously conserve all that energy. I would rather play this and probably just another defense. Just kind of play defensive and let us just hit him for nine. Here, here's his debuff. Which isn't the end of the world. As far as defending, kind of sucks. But it's really not that bad, because a lot of our damage comes from this. If we do something like dual cast, we do that, we play this, he's actually dead. Even if I don't play that, but... Oh, this is too bad, then we heal 7 of that back. That's not bad, and that's awesome. So we get to negate some curses. So I have used Rainbow, which is pretty cool. So it summons Lightning, Frost, and a Dark, and then exhausts itself. The Dark is really cool if you can get it working. Um, it's a little hard to force around, although this summons a Dark as well. This is probably better. Uh, it does force into two def uh, two energy though, but I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it. I don't think I want to rest, although we might. We might rest to the next one. What does this do? Upgraded. It doesn't exhaust. Oh my god. Ooh. Ooh. It makes zaps free. <sighs> I think we do that actually. That allows us to play. We got to do both of them to make it the plan perfectly work. But a zap, a free zap, sounds really good. Mercury Hourglass works great. Um, this dude's a lot about just delaying time in fights. Maybe we do heal. Where's our next heal station? Maybe we just don't fight that elite. Let's see how this fight goes. If we do this fight flawlessly, let's not heal. Let's take a risk. Let's take a risk. I feel confident. I feel like getting both of those cards upgraded is going to be a major difference. If we can do this without really taking any damage, this could be great. Let's get Storm down. Get a strike in there. And, I mean... It invokes the next one twice. I was totally misreading that. I always thought it said invoke the next next thing. Oh, God. So free zap. We get that back. He's doing 16 to us. 
Which actually, let's get this down. Let's double block. So we're taking six and we heal five of it. We're not really taking much. Oh, I actually split them. Mercury Hourglass is going to start hitting these guys. Uh, we get something like self-repair in there. We're going to heal. Plus we get that. They're not attacking. So that's going to force and invoke two things. Plus the dark now comes out. So I can explain this. And basically every turn, the damage of this dark goes up by six. And then it in when you invoke it, it does that damage to a random enemy. So now it's going to do 12 because I ended my turn. So I have to get that to force through and then it'll pick one of them and just demolish. So having that rainbow able to be forced around so easy is going to be crazy good. Um... But the next time you lose HP, yes, please. So that forces around as well because we summon with our whole lightning storm we have. Is that what it is? Lightning storm? Just storm. He is doing some damage here. Our best bet is probably just to double defend it up. Hang tight. We get a little bit of defense from Frost. We take zero damage. We're going to be at full HP. We do this, which forces in some defense. It cycles to this one step closer. We get you killed. We can double defend for hahas. If we can just invoke... I mean, we don't even have to invoke that, but if we have a way to... Yeah, instantly, 24 damage is coming out and smacking that guy. And that goes up every single turn. Oh, boy. And with Storm, it just gets crazier. Book your next orb. Channel the orb. Okay, that's a good one, too. And that upgraded, I believe, is free. Yeah, that can be really dirty. But I'm going to go with self-repair. Uh, let's do it. I think we've got the run after that. This guy kind of sucks because we have to do it at a fairly decent pace. And we got a really bad starting hand. I'm actually going to take this and grab whatever we get. Probably one vulnerable. I really wish that worked out differently. That was a pretty bad thing to draw. We maybe didn't even need it, but... So we gain a zap for free. We white noise it up, which gives us a power. Prevent the next time we lose HP. So we're not actually taking damage here. We play the self um, repair thing. We're starting to invoke these and stacking up damage. We take no damage because of that. He's doing 18 again to us. We can play this, which invokes another one. This is going to invoke three, which is going to do some insane damage. Um... And however, we are going to take 20 damage here. Not much I can do about that. Actually, take 18 damage. Wasn't until I can do it. We almost got him. We almost got him without taking any damage there. Peace Pipe. Um, can remove a cards at rest sites. Not something I'm really a big fan of. because I'm really going to try not to take cards I don't need. That's cool. Prevent the next time you lose HP. That is two times. It costs two, so it's expensive. Um, haven't played with that. Do seven damage to a random enemy for each lightning that is channeled. That could be good with the thunderstorm we have, but it's expensive. I mean, yeah, it's a ton, but hey, I don't think I want to do it. Gain three buck for every card in your discard pile. And exhaust. That if the perfect time could be crazy. It gets rid of it from exhausting too. Although I think buffer, it's like a really good block. We might not always want it, it could be a waste. Cool. Rest stops are even better. We held up a ton from that fight too, actually, now that I think about it. We obviously want this. We're down with this, which allows us to soak up some of this damage. We'll play this out because it's free. And honestly, I think we just play a little bit of defense. We're going to take some damage here. Not really ideal, but hey. We grab another one of these, which is now 14 damage we're going to heal. I can play this. Yeah. Which is actually going to force things around anyway. Supposed to get two times of not being hurt. Right? I think two. I think there's two of those. Why does it only show one? I thought there was supposed to be two. Or maybe there is only one. I could have sworn that card was two times. Or is that the upgraded version was two times? Oh, it's exhausted. Doesn't show my exhausted cards. Okay. Go with this. Random powers are great. Um, draw one additional card at the start of each turn. It's cool because it forces an invoke. It kills him, actually. Uh, and honestly... We just double defend and we hold under HP. We're healing for 14, so we are full healing. We kind of just hang slow. Like, it's a little slower paced fight style. But, like, it's not bad. Some poison, throw that in there. Glacier sounds ridiculous. Nine block and add two frost. That could be good. I'm looking for powers as well. As many powers as we can get, the better. We're playing a really big power deck, I feel like. We're not really playing a frost deck, but that's a lot of block. And it helps cycle some of our stuff. Gain one block when played this permanently gain. Is the upgraded version not exhaust? No, it does. That's not bad, but I feel like it's not that great. I might regret taking Glacier as it's an expensive card, but I'm going to take it. We might upgrade it here. self repair is going to be bad to upgrade. This being 12 block is crazy. I wish it went down in cost, but... White Noise might be worth it. Dual Cast costs zero. 
My god, they all cost zero. They start to get so cheap. No, oh, yeah, buffer being upgraded. Yeah, that's what we want. Buffer needed to be upgraded. That's the one that was two. That's why I read that. This dude hurts. Let's see how much you hurt, man. Let's see how much you hurt. Actually, this is a multi-attack, so it's only going to block, I think, the first two. Which isn't the greatest, but hey, it's something. I'm going to actually block some damage, because, again, I'm pretty sure the way this is going to count. It's going to count, yeah, each one differently. So we're still going to take a ton of damage, uh, which is super unfortunate. I will play this to gain another one of these. I think I'm okay eating that damage, and we actually... I'll we'll play this. We won't take that damage. I wish we could keep that for next turn. I'd love to force that through. But I think we're starting to get our play style. I think we're starting to get a play style. You know what? This is one of those moments where we actually conserve that energy over. So we should go in with two energy. There we go. That's how that works. So if we come over, now we got a ton of energy. We got a kind of crabby turn again. At the start of each turn, add a random power. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's crazy. Oh, man. Yes, we want that. That will be nice because it will force these around again. Invoke some stuff. Um, gets us a lot of defense, which we don't really need. I guess we just double attack. I mean, we have plenty of defense. That's ridiculous. So there it is. Just like that. I said we play Rainbow, though. We get all that to cycle around, which gives us defense, which we really didn't need. And then it gives me the opportunity to simply play this. Whenever you play a power, draw one guard, which stacks in with the whole thing. We cycle this one step closer. Uh, I don't want to rush that too fast, obviously, but hey, it just being there is great. Static Discharge. Whenever you take damage, apply. Ooh. Yes, please. Oh, that cycles it, I guess. Huh, okay. Well, this is really close to invoking. I can actually invoke it twice. I only did... Oh, three because it went through a shield. I'm like, why, why didn't it do that much? I think we block some of this. I don't think we need to use the potion. Oh, we might, actually. He's about to kill us. Yeah, 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 yeah. Probably should have used this already. His big attack's coming in. Let's play it just to be safe. I really don't want to die. Game four, focus. Ooh, focus is crazy. So if focus work, it actually buffs all of these, but we're going to lose it each turn, so it's going to get worse and worse. But I think if we just cycle this around, I really want to play that, but hey, let's go with this, I suppose. Invoke these to get him dead faster. Rainbow would have been nice, but it's going to go down each turn. I think he can go into the negatives, meaning we can actually do less damage. I just got another storm. He's doing a lot of damage to us, but we do survive it. Let's just do it. Let's go crazy. We're actually going to build up a lot of defense doing it this way too, which is nice. It's actually doing a 9. Oh, man. It's going to go down again. That focus is ridiculous. We didn't take a lot of damage, so. We forced over extra energy because or extra lightning because we took more damage. This whole power thing is just crazy. We just we do so much. Oh, my God. It was crazy. Creative AI. We can actually take it. It costs 3 to play. Upgraded is 2. That's so hard to play. We have to get that upgraded like as soon as possible. What is this? So plasma, I think, was like energy. Yeah, it says at the bottom. You gain energy for plasma. Start of the combat. You gain... Ooh, we taking it. We taking it. I mean, that's awesome as well. But this just is better, except we can lose it. I feel like that's better. I don't know what invoking that does. Invoking it might actually do nothing. But hopefully it's the second one, so lightning's still first. Uh, I kind of want to go up that route. Yeah, we can get two upgrade spots if needed. Three. Fight an elite. Uh, it fights into a pretty bad spot. And no shop. Unless I go that way and miss that. But I like it. We got a lot of money. We need, we need a shop. This is not the greatest fight for us. I'm not going to lie. It does put that second. Did we just take 20 damage like that? Let's take 20 damage like that. Right? Maybe? Maybe that was the dumbest mistake we could make. Buffer? It's just one, though. Push this closer. Invoking it gains two energy. Great eye. Wow, another one? No way. No way. We're taking a lot of damage again, guys. Um...
We have that that takes the damage for us. Self repair. Oh my god, all this stuff. At the start of your turn, use a passive ability of your next orb. Oh god, it's so dumb. Like, so dumb good. It's a good thing. The more of these we play, the more lightning we just keep hitting. It's godly. We're taking a lot of damage here, though. We're healing up a good bit of this, but not a much. I mean, I would have loved to play that. We've got the fight. Another storm. Whenever we play a power. It's just over. Like, oh my god. I don't know how much we're going to need that. Ooh, a 0 13 block. Right off the bat. If you have 0 block, gain 11 block. It's not a power, though. Who went that? That's dirty. Penib. Not the greatest horse. We don't play a ton of attacks. Yeah. That's risky. We're low HP, but we have these heals coming up. So as long as these go okay for us. So we want this. We play this. And we play that. And that's a great starting turn. Having that setup is crazy. Creative AI isn't innate though, right? That's not innate. I don't believe that's innate. Self repair. Which does some stuff for us. Buffer upgraded. And whenever you take damage, apply lightning. We actually innated that, so now we have this. Which we're going to then do some crazy damage. These aren't attacks, so they don't actually hurt at them. And we aren't taking damage this turn. We actually didn't avoid that. We have one more buffer. Is the buffers get... No, they don't even... Oh, God. We just keep them. We just keep them. So we play that. It cycles the next one. Uh, we do have some damage coming. Although, we're only going to take six of it. Maybe I'm best off doing that, though. I wouldn't mind that. We can do this. Still play that. And we don't even have to waste that. So we can still take another... Yeah, like, this 18. Now I don't have to worry about defending it. Hello, world. That's sort of just turn out a random... I don't like the idea of that. But the power is nice. <laughs> to play a power... I'll gain four focus. Let's do it. I mean, screw it. It's not what I want. But it gets us to this dual cast. Plus, we don't actually... Yeah, we just goddamn obliterate. We're godly. Oh my god, this is so fun. I've my first run did not go this well. My deck was not the same. Those are nice, but like, do we even need it? I don't want to clutter the deck. Like, I feel like we got a decent deck. This is really good, though. You invoke it, and then you channel it again. Let's take that. I think that's worth taking. Oh, remove a card. Right? We don't want to strike. We don't want strikes. Like, they're just negative on us. Um, I think we can chance upgrading. We want to upgrade Creative AI. It makes that much more playable. I really want this other one. If this goes flawlessly, we might be able to heal here. We're probably not going to be able to heal here because this is pretty bad. This is a bad fight for me, generally. Let's play that. Let's play that. Let's play that. And we'll play that. Which is going to force things around. I don't want to get rid of this quite yet, of course. Would have been terrible to invoke there. we got to get this guy killed. That's the issue now. Oh, God, another one. We're going to get a lot of energy here. Hello, world. I don't know if that's good. At the start of your turn, add a random common card in your hand. It might be negative, but let's try it out. We'll get to see some of the cards, I guess. we got to gain the block. You're hitting the wrong guy. I guess then we just strike him. This dude's going to really hurt us with those dazes. That's for sure. Capacitor. This is cool. We haven't actually got one of these yet. It gives me more slots. Self-repair. I would have loved to have that. This is what we got. Deal 7 damage. Draw 1 card for each unique orb you have. We don't need those cards, though. The 7 damage might be the best thing we got, though. Although, dual striking. We have to get a kill soon. We have to force a kill. Just poison him to help do a little bit more damage. We gotta get him dead, because this dude's gonna start hitting. We're taking a lot of damage here. We're starting to take some damage. 
Um, we throw a free zap in, of course. Uh, we mine as well. I mean, we have to kind of play everything, don't we? Whenever we take damage, sure. That invokes that. Might as well invoke it and resummon it. Hopefully these hit the right guy and just kill him. Yeah, cool, he's dead. He's gonna weaken us, but hey, that's not really the end of the world. We can channel more lightning. I mean, whenever we take damage, sure, it invokes. This also invokes, which we're kind of looking for, and we get a kill for sure here. We did not really... Oh, we did heal, actually, a lot. I'm gonna say we didn't heal much. This card has many number of cards and draw that many. That's pretty cool. Chaos. Two random orbs. The chaos was pretty neat. That's an upgraded one. That we're going to take. I had an unupgraded one before, and it was interesting. So, what did I want to upgrade? This, right? Because that'll be free. That'll make that almost always wanted to be played. I mean, that upgrading is nice. That wouldn't be bad. White Noise, I would like to upgrade. You still have to exhaust it, though. That as well. Anything that goes free. It's like, why would we not? Toolbox. Start of each combat, add a random colors card here. Why not? It's only one. Um, do we fight the elite? I think we do. We come in here, we upgrade another card. Let's just keep going. I feel like we're on a roll right now. Let's get that. F no, 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 no. Let's get this one free. Even though it's exhausted, um, it's kind of random. It's more RNG based. Like, I have a little bit more control. I do not owe all my gold. Screw you, we fighting, dude. We ain't losing all that gold. I've got a huge stack. This is pretty bad. Um, we'll just take the energy to next turn. And then we have that. We're actually going to have a ton of energy next turn. Hopefully we get some good stuff. We really would have liked that creative thing the first turn. These guys are going to start hurting. These guys are going to start hurting. Um, like a lot. I should have probably played that that turn because I went in a lot. I still have that two energy, which I can't even use. It's unfortunate. Maybe killing this guy would have been smarter, but we got these guys pretty much down to nothing. We are taking, like I said, a lot of damage. This is free. Might as well do it. Add one additional card. It's all this extra stuff we're playing. Play that. Play this and get a lot of... They're not really even a lot of defense. I think we just go this and just kind of invoke everything and just hope for the best. Oh, my God. One HP, dude. Oh, I didn't hit him. Here comes the damage. We have to fight an elite after. Creative it. Eyes great. Buffer is probably the best. That avoids just all damage next turn. And the turn after. Let's be zap when we get him killed. There's a lot of HP lost. I did not want to lose that gold though. 12 block. Sure. This is unfortunate. We don't really have a heal after either. And we only have one more before champion. The start of each turn, add a randomless color card here. Wow, that's kind of unfortunate. It's a power though, right? It is a power. We can play this for free. I mean, yeah, I guess. Let's let's play the game. Let's play the game. Uh, we are blocking full everything. Um, Apotheosis. We have to play it. We do have a buffer, but it only blocks us from actually two of those. I'd like to play the zap. It gets one step closer to losing that. We could force that, actually, to happen. Which gives me enough to play buffer as well. We still do take damage here, of course. It's unfortunate. These awesome cards. Why would I want to do that? Um, this is bad. We're taking damage. That may have been dumb, actually. So let's play this twice, I guess. It comes back, actually, uh, with the same number as well, which is really nice. This is 12 block. I mean, might as well dual cast. I mean, I don't want to, and I don't want to exhaust that. We're not in good shape. Another storm. Could be nice. We're taking a lot of damage, though. So can I afford to play the one? I want to play that. I mean, white noise is free. Let's play that. It gives me a free thing. Lightning now hits all enemies. Sure. Channel 2 lightning. 
She gets a lot of damage out there. I mean, I want to play that because it's upgraded and it heals 10. Um, I mean, I think we go this route, which is going to invoke these and do a lot of damage as well. I wish... I could have went the Madness route and gambled, but it's like... Eh? We do take a decent bit of damage here. Actually, not, not terrible. I'd really like... Ah, uh, there we go. That's exactly what I was going to say I'd really like. He's dead. I'm like trying to like think about this. Do we have him dead? Yeah, we do. I'm just trying to think if there's any way to heal more. I don't think so. We might as well just kill him. We heal up 20. What is this? Potion belt. Upon pickup, gain two potion slots. Yo! That is sweet. Hello world. That seems pretty crappy to me, to be honest. I guess you could probably go a deck with that, but like, that sounds pretty bad. Do nine damage for the next two turns. Lightning damage turns. Let me target this enemy. That's cool and all, but like, I don't think so. I don't think we want any of it. I almost went there, which could have been really bad. That, this sucks as is, so. Uh, Self-repair? Madness? Sure. Two random orbs, which kind of sucks because get rid of that, rid of that, but hey. I suppose, I mean, this is actually really bad. I'm going to play this just to get rid of it. It's going to cause random amount anyways coming back. And it's not going to be beneficial if that thing costs a lot, you know? A free defend. And the only thing we can do is conserve energy. We don't take damage, but he's going to start hitting us with these harder hits. White noise. Buffer. Creative AI costs nothing. Oh my god, you're just hitting me with everything beautiful right now um i think we just go this block i don't really want to play that hello world i don't really want to play it i don't think i want the extra you know what we're almost to this fight i think we do it it's a power invoke some more thinking it's kind of as an attack right now another one of these which is beautiful that would have been nice to play first if i was going to play it I do think I'm gonna play it. Now I'm a little upset that I didn't play it first. I'd like to play that and all. We are actually not gonna take that damage, right? That's buffer right there. We have a buffer on. You know what? Let's not do it then. Let's do it my way. Um, I mean, I don't think this makes a difference to our whole Buffer thing. He's one HP away. Could I have actually done that? I mean, it didn't matter. We didn't take damage anyway, but could I have actually done that? I may have been actually able to do that. Gain three focus, lose one orb slot. Ooh. Ooh. What does a non upgraded version do? That's sketchy. I need more ways to. Oh, that sounds good, though. It's a skill it doesn't even use up. We'd have to get stuff to increase our slots. We'd have to get capacity capacitors, which I haven't found at all. You know what? I'm going to chance it. It might just be a dud card we draw a couple a couple times in a row. But if that works out, great. That could be amazing. Apotheosis, please. Thank you, Storm. Self-repair. Zap it. We don't really need a boot sequence. That's worth saving now. In this fight, as we could actually draw it still and cost zero. It's not the Sneko. Creative AI. So prepare. Uh, leap. Strike. Dual cast. And please just select him in one of these hits, please. Yes. One to deal with. Capacitor. That's what I need to be drawing. I need to actually get in the deck. Uh, buffer will take care of the rest of this turn, to be honest. And then I just don't have to deal with it. Both our buffer slots, but hey, we got Pendib on deck too. White noise gives us capacitor slots. And now, if I draw this card, I mean, consume. We're good, we lose a slot. But hey, our focus is up. These should all do more now. They're doing 6 instead of 3 and 11 when we exhaust them. Um, He's doing 10 damage. I'm not a fan of taking it. We have only one energy. I guess let's save as much of that as possible. I mean, we can do this. Doesn't make sense not to do it. And we're just going to obliterate him, actually, anyways. So it didn't matter. Cool. 
And we've pretty much healed up. Gain on focus, just literally just straight up gain on focus. Wow. Yeah. We're actually getting focus cards. We're gonna upgrade. Probably upgrade that actually. Yeah. Let's do it. I gotta get capacitors in the deck that we're getting lucky with what we're randomly getting. At X I'm a randomest cards to your hand. Hmm. Storm it. Boot sequence it. Gain two focus. And I think we buffer. We buffer it up. Let's just get rid of this. I really don't want it. Really don't want it. We take no damage. If we get decent cards here, we might want to exhaust our thing. See, we don't. But what I can do is zap. Leap. And conserve. Now we're bringing four energy into next turn. That's a lot of energy. I also have this we could run. Which might be worth using on this guy. Creative AI. Yeah, I mean, we have so much energy. Why not, actually, now that I think about it? Repair is not even really worth it, except for invoking and summoning, like, our whole storm thing. I mean, we have to just play everything. It doesn't make sense not to play at all. That was our pen nib, finally. Uh, we still have two energy left over. So much power stuff running. We're doing 15 a turn. Creative AI, another one? It's a free turn. We don't really need this. You know what? Let's get multiple powers going. Might as well do this because it's just going to come back. Nothing else is free. He's going to... Uh, as the debuff us kind of deal, but hey. Uh, it's not going to be too much of an issue. Gain one focus, a power, buffer. It's only one buffer though. But hey, uh, it's still invoking damage, giving us stuff there. We do this. Bam, 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 bam. We can still invoke another one. Which is actually doing 11. Oh God, it's just ridiculous. Ridiculous, completely. I don't really want to play that. Um, the whole focus thing and just degrading is a little scary. But I might do it. Yeah, you know, let's do it. Let's do it. Um... I don't really want to play this. You know what? Let's do it. Why not? It's going to be 30 damage. Now that I think about it. We can cycle things around fast enough as is. Plus we actually get some block. And we take zero damage. So, Wait, I don't think we've taken damage this fight yet. If we could do a flawless fight against this dude, I would be impressed. He's going to be buffing himself here. You know what? Let's get two of those. So every power is now going to do it twice. Holy crap. So like that. This is the next two. Which I didn't really need. But now we're doing a lot of damage here. I wish we had, honestly... No, Katsu would be bad here. I mean, nothing's great here except for this, I suppose. Our focus is going to go down slowly, though. Like, this could get bad. If we don't do this soon enough. What's our focus number at? That's seven, right? Yeah. So that goes down every single turn. Yeah, there's Capacitor, which is a power. We have this. Lightning now hits all enemies. There's not multiple enemies, but it does channel two lightning. We're taking a lot of damage, which is kind of the scary thing. But if we can get a kill, I could go this route and play defensive. We might just want to eat it. I doubt we're going to get a perfect run anyways. So we do capacitor slots. We do that. Which just gets us really rolling. We're actually going to kill him. Mm, yeah. Right? Yeah. We're going to be just short. Just short. Oh, we still could have done that perfectly. I didn't even think of that. Another storm. <laughs> it's over, my friend. It's just dumb. Stacking storms just can get retarded. So strong. Th that starts to make this ridiculous if you can get all that rolling. So I think I like this. I think I like that. The 10 damage. Put all zero cost cards from your discard pile in your hand. Like, that's cool. This. Make it three lightning. Oh, man, let's do it. it. Might not always be perfect. They're the greatest idea. We can take this. We have this still to discard two curses, so. Time Wizard is who I think we're going to... Did we actually get... No, I didn't get to him last time. I think we did a silent. We had an issue. That's what I'm thinking of. Um, we need shops. Shops are a must. I don't want to really be forced to fight an elite, but no matter what path we go, unless we go up here... 
we don't have to. That actually looks like an alright route. I really don't want to fight elites, I'm going to be honest. I'm happy with my build. Let's not fight the elites. Let's try to go eliteless. It's cool, it's free. Why not? Let's do that. Um, that's not worth it to lose a spot, to be honest. It was kind of a crappy first turn, but hey, we took no damage. We take the burns, which is unfortunate. Uh, white noise, which could be good. Creative eye, eye for free. Let's go that route. Which creates another one, which is nice. We'll actually push that forward a bit. Don't really want to push it in, but hey. So we're actually not doing any passive damage here, so we are going to need to do some stuff. Um, this might be the way to go. Just gain two focus. Straight up. Just gain two focus. Forces us to get more energy. Might as well do this. Just force things around. The cool wheel we have. Play this. We have so much energy. I mean, why not just play it? Just stacking our storm up. And he's dead. Like, what is going on? That's a focus potion. Which is awesome. Oh, another chaos one. I like the RNG of it. It's fun. Although this is really great too. But I think we're going to take the chaos. They can get us Plasma. I mean, I'm cool with all of them. I'm honestly not a huge fan of the whole Frost thing currently. But, like, other than that, it's, like, great. Starting with all his energy is just crazy as well. Two block drama card. Let's see what we draw. A free zap. Do I want to do that? I actually don't think I do. Let's play that and defend. Let's not actually play the zap. I'd like to keep the extra energy for another turn. We're not going to lose it, and we have the buffer. This is going to set us up. This is going to be hard to... Like, do to kill them all. I think this is a pretty hard match as, as this guy, to be honest with you. Another... Oh, boy. We have two of them. So now we're just going to be invoking everything. Oh, my lord. We have the energy. Like, why would we not do it? This is going to be crazy. That's a power. Oh, my God. And now it hits everyone. What I say about this being hard? That card just dominated that fight holy crap what even is this anymore i mean i don't even know if I, i'm gonna take it because it's upgraded and it's i think it'll be good what even is this game we're just absolutely demolishing storm there's not multiple targets and he's not attacking i mean i'm gonna apply the weak i suppose oh that's gonna force that though crap that was actually dumb that was actually kind of dumb But hey, I suppose it wasn't the end of the world. I suppose it wasn't the end of the world. Uh, we might take some damage here. Oh god, another one? Just channeling more lightning. Repair. I don't think that's worth... I like having the extra slot. We might as well block it up. It doesn't make sense not to try to block it. I and mean, we block everything. Our damage isn't set up now, but it's not like that's necessarily hard to do. Let's um, let's do this. Let's play this, which is going to invoke it and draw us a new one. Self repair. We're just going to force it through. That gives us almost the block we need. This will get us the block we need, and we're good again. He starts to hit hard, so we do have to rush this fight a little bit. Those are pointless to play. There's a lot of damage coming in. We have a buffer. We have a bunch of stuff I want to play. I wish we had a lot of energy here. This would be nice. But hey, let's play the buffer plus, which will take care of two of those. Uh, we are going to have to take some of it. And that's actually going to do a decent bit of damage. A little too early, I guess, but we're going to take some damage here. We're actually going to take one damage. Oh no, eight damage. Oh, that got used before the... Oh, that's unfortunate the order that gets used, I guess, but... Do that, which force that through. That's just a skill. Could it be... Ah, you know what? You know what? It's getting late in the fight to get, you know, too... Too crazy with this, but I think... I think two of creative eyes could be crazy. I mean, the more the better, right? Oh, he's hurting a lot, actually. Like a lot, a lot. Uh, 
Like, oh boy, a lot. Um, we, we're doing all right, but hey, it's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt. We are healing 14. I would like to heal more. We could force this out one more turn and see if we get a better power, to be honest. Oh, now we can't. Never mind, I just did it. That just did us in. Might as well just kill him. So that, that just did us in. I was gonna try to carry it out one more turn. I forgot we did so much damage. Just like sitting there and playing power cards, basically. Uh, deal 10 damage. Draw one card for each unique orb you have. Like, that's cool and all. It's a lot of damage, I guess. But I don't really want it. We've got a lot of cards in the deck already. Um, where's the shop again? So we have to go through all these question marks. It's just, it's just terrible. Oh, man. This shouldn't actually hurt. These, we shouldn't actually hurt ourselves on these. I'm just worried about killing this guy in time. Because that could be a major problem. Choose an attack card. I don't really need an attack card. I guess this. Uh, we need him dead, so. Because yeah, that can hit whoever. Not actually hurt us. We have plenty of block. He needs to just die. Like, that's the big concern. If he doesn't die in time, we got some problems. I think we're good. I think we've got it, but. Buffer. Next two. Next time we take damage. We can kill him right now, actually. I don't even have to take damage. Oh, I didn't really. Shouldn't have done that. If one of these just hits him, please. Nope. So now we're going to be using our buffer for four damage, which sucks. He is technically going to blow up, I think, now, right? I mean, buffer plus... When does this... Oh, I killed him. Cool. I'm going to say, when does this thing hit anyways? Wow, this is actually really good against these guys. Holy crap. Plus, we got that. Now it's just going to hit everyone. If we got that sooner, that would have been done so quick. We can cycle our cards pretty much as much as we want. Loop is actually pretty decent, I feel like. At the start of your turn, use the passive ability of your next two orbs. Like, dude. And it's a power. I don't really want madness. I'm going to take this. We can negate the curse, so. A lot of energy. Let's do it. Nothing's attacking. Let's upgrade this. It makes that a neat. That actually wouldn't be bad. There we go. Oh, my God. Sadly, that played, but. Oh, my Lord. Holy crap. Oh, uh, we can take an energy over, I guess. <laughs> they're dead. It's over. It's over. Like, there's no way we don't draw a killing hand right now. Well, maybe we didn't draw a killing hand right now. Um, this is a lot of damage. That's Pennib, yeah. He's got the most HP. That's not actually going to be killing hand. Um, this might. Yep. We just had to invoke him. Ah, oh, so speed. Gains dex. I'm trying to save these for, like, the last fight. I'm going to take that instead of the one of those. Um, another loop. Does that do it twice? Does that stack? I think it does. Let's do it. Oh, my God. That sounds so dirty. Choose a skill from your draw pile and place it in your hand exhaust. I mean, like, what might we want to use on turn one? Like, this sounds pretty cool. A uh, free zap sounds pretty cool. Let's take this thing. We might not use it. Let me see what we got. We got Storm. Actually, we're going to use it because we don't really have many cards here. So you're gonna force us to use his energy, which kind of stinks. That actually would have been. Oh no, never mind. I was thinking that we're that wrong. We have a lot of energy though. It's kind of crappy. That actually was a really bad turn. Why do we have to fight another one of these though? Like, come on, come on. I don't really want to fight another one of these. Let's go for it. I guess zap them early. Do I really want to invoke that? Probably. We're going to probably draw enough for next turn anyways. Alright, a buffer. It's just a buffer one, but it's probably worth it. Loop. Focus. Another loop. This is the stacking we're talking about. Buffer would be so nice. I'm going to play the buffer just to be safe. But I would love to have played that loop, and we can play this too. So, again, loop is hitting... The first two at the the passive, at the beginning. Yeah, like you just did there. Storm again. 
Like, see, now we have that buffer on this, which is crazy. Another focus, which is going to make them even stronger. Um, some chaos in here. Let's play some, play some fun stuff. Like, what can we get? I'm going to sickle that out. We might not even have to use that buffer. We're not going to. We're going to block enough. Holy crap, we just blocked that. What? This dude is crazy. This dude is ridiculous if you get a good deck going for him. We're unstoppable. I should have played that first, but... We're just unstoppable. You just cycle something and, like... Now we're back to damage, but, like, we can cycle for so much defense once you start getting some stuff going. Another two buffers. Like, just for ha-has. No joke. I could just kill him with that, but, like, we could play two of those. Oh my god. Like, I don't think that's worth picking up. Like, that's not worth me having. We have a big power deck, and it does let us draw a lot of cards. Doubles your energy. Ooh. That could be good. I mean, it's never going to be bad to draw unless I don't need the energy, I suppose. I guess that could happen, but... Makes that three lightning. We're not fighting a boss that has multiple enemies. And we're coming up to the end. Upgrading these self things aren't really worth it. Might just go with this guy. I'd like to get that other thing upgraded too for the three en or three lightning, but the shops this pass. So I have to go that way, which I don't need to heal anyways. Strawberry. Well, we're getting more max HP. Just becoming more. Actually, I could have grabbed the heal there. Crap. I guess we'll add this. I don't really want to. Although, I do want to add that. Yeah. What? Is that a new new saying? Look at all the money. This is the first shop we've had all run. We can start with a power. You have just given me the power to obliterate this whole game, dude. Three attacks and skills. We never do that. Upgrade two random skills. We don't even have that many skills unupgraded. I think that's the way we're going to go. Apotheosis. Yes. That's like kind of crap. We still have <laughs> so much damn money. Like, we gotta buy something. Buy a debuff. We're not really debuffing. That's like an extra random like, crappy card draw. This, if it was upgraded, it would be beautiful. Whenever you take damage. I mean, like, that's that's pretty cool. We've used that a couple times. Is there a card we want to get rid of? Another strike? They're literally just dead draws. We still have 100 gold. I mean, I think we're good, to be honest. I don't think we have any more shops, do we? No. This fight could be rough, but hey. Draw two cards. Place the place a card from your hand on top of the deck. Sure. Let's save the buffer. Because we want to get you down. We want to get you down. We will play this to gain full block. I don't really actually want to do that. I do. We're going to do it. It's going to sadly gain us more energy. Just want to cycle all the rest of the stuff in. Cycle that around again. We'll throw another defense in for the hell of it. we got to get these guys dead as soon as possible. Because they are going to hurt. I just thought of that. The buffer would have been really nice, but hey, I think we good. Let's do this, which is just going to focus him. Wow. It's a lot of energy. We're going to take three damage. We're not necessarily going to heal it either. I would love to pull a beautiful... No. And we're forced to basically kill him here. But we actually kind of want to anyways. <laughs> we'll strike for once. I don't know. I guess it really doesn't matter how I did... Finish that one off. Do four damage, apply vulnerability. Again, this is nice and all, but I really don't think worth it. Draw two cards, add a burn into your draw pile now. I don't think that apply that's attacks only. That's actually not very good. We're not attack based again. I don't want to add anything. I'm happy with our cards. Not gonna heal. We might heal at the last one just for haha's if we think we might need it. Um That's eleven block. Anything like free? 
dual cast or I think we do static discharge. We might do dual cast that last one. Hopefully we can get full heal off this guy. Again, I'm a little worried about the time guy because we have limited cards for hand. Please just draw that one card. Yes. All right. So we can actually play everything we want. We are going to take some damage. Actually, no, we're not because we have this. Static discharge would be awesome to play too, which we're actually going to be able to do because we're going to gain more energy. Just skill from your drop pile. All right. Um, we're using up one energy, so we need something one energy or less. This is free, but hey, gives me something random. And they're all dead. GG's. Not yet. I thought the loop was going to apply. There it is. Oh, no, it still didn't kill. Well. <laughs> now you're dead. All right. Um, again, I don't think we need anything. We're golden. I'm going to upgrade dual cast, and we're going to go into this. Make dual cast free just to like kind of make it to where, you know, it's worth playing. And, um, let's, let's get started. Too many cards is bad. Oh, that's really sketchy idea. This fight's going to be too long to play you. So I'm already f six cards in. I don't really want to play that, to be honest. We are immune to one of these. Apotheosis, thank you very much. We play this, we play this. Up to nine cards. Um, Ten. 11. I can't force it. Um, one minute. I do have this as well. I should have already played. Um, I suppose we can hit him with this already. Honestly, I think we just play the leap and we only have two cards next turn. Which is sketchy. It may have been worth actually playing that defend too, but then we only would have one card. I think he's actually buffing or doing something different besides attacking this turn, right? No, he's attacking big. Um, big, big. I could play literally two cards. So we're taking 26 damage. There's no way around that right now. I think you're worth playing. An idea of focus. I should play that first. You're going to force me to end my turn. We're going to rain hell and lightning upon you. We're going to take an absolute absurd amount of damage. And I'm just going to do a ton back. And we're ready to roll again. Oop, let's gain more focus. I should have done that earlier. We're zapping it up. Uh, I gotta be careful on cards. He's not attacking, he's defending. No point to save that no energy there. Doing eight per one of these. We're only four in here. Might be worth doing that. Double energy? We don't need. <laughs> we can literally play all four cards. We don't want to, obviously. We want that. Let's play the random orbs. Let's play this. Screw it. Whatever you bless us with is what we get. I'm trying to save enough for next turn. I just have to make sure it's like worth. He's not attacking again. Gain the focus. We're at eight. Do I go to ten again? I can't force. Um, honestly, like. I want to play that, but I think we're going to do this. That'll force um, that to happen. Plus, playing that actually invokes one of these, so that actually works good. I think he's... Does he not heal? Wow, we just obliterated that. That was nothing. Oh, you're done, dude. You're done. Oh, that didn't actually do anything. Crap, because we didn't cycle one around. Uh, he's not actually done yet. He is actually done. We have him killed already. Sweet. I kind of want to try this. Does this invoke one? Oh, now he's not done. Shit. No way. I just killed myself. Oh, my God. We literally, I think, just killed ourselves because I did that. I thought it was going to invoke that, and it didn't. I literally thought that was it. Holy crap. I feel like that's a good amount of points. 
Like, relatively good? Yeah, it's not too bad. Is that... I don't know if it's record. That was literally, in, like, almost exactly an hour. Got a Steam achievement for it. We did it the first time. We got a ton of points. We got first unlock of cards. We might even get second. Now, really close. So we get rebound, which deals eight damage. Place your next card. Okay, gain thirteen block. Retain your hand this turn. That's really cool. And then there's a power, which works really well with that last thing. The first card in your first card you play. Each. Okay, that's really cool. Oh my god, that is dirty. I can't check the upgraded version right here, but we might have top for the week with that one. I know that someone else had six hundred something. That may have done it leaderboards I don't know we did we just overshot it very very slightly my second run with the guy I think it was pretty good um, anyways hope you guys did enjoy if so please smack the like button and uh, yeah as always I will catch you beautiful faces in the next one peace